struggling on offense in Madden 23. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys one of the most explosive and hardest to stop offenses to use in the game. Would you like to run the ball or pass the ball? This offense is guaranteed to give your opponent fits. So if you want to see what explosive offensive formations I'm using, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Now the offense I'm going to be using today is going to be my New Orleans Saints Woo! offensive ebook. I'm also in my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook. All that stuff's in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But I'm going to show you guys multiple offenses out of this playbook today. I started this game off on defense though, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys my coaching adjustments. Number one, I always put my zone coverage to match. That's probably the most important one. I feel like that's one of the better ways to go. I always set my zone drop flats to zero. Uh, that's the only one I really touch. I might touch some more throughout the game, and you'll see that throughout the gameplay. My tackling is always on aggressive uh, because I'm trying to get more hit stick fumbles and stuff like that. I I can't say that I necessarily notice it, but it's still something I use. As far as option defense, I typically will put this to whatever one is going after the quarterback, but in this game I didn't because I was like, it's Aaron Rodgers. Who uses the Packers to run quarterback options? Then when it comes to ball in the air defense, I always do play ball because I want to get more interceptions. I want my quarterbacks to go for picks. This isn't a defensive video, but the first defense I'm going to use in the first series is going to be the DB Sting 2 Buzz. This is one of my favorite defenses right now. It's a very explosive blitz on the first series of plays. My opponent tries to beat that blitz by getting the ball out quick. Gotcha, bitch. We're going the other way. We're starting off an offensive video with a defensive touchdown. That celebration is short-lived, though, as my opponent pretty much figures it out. Number one, I mean, you can run the ball against this defense all game because it's a smaller package. Cover twos are typically the worst run defenses up the middle. Number two, because they have so many guys in the box, you can hit some quick throws over the top of that. And then, once again, he just beats me as I can't get off the block quick enough to use it. So, I get a touchdown from it, but then I give up a touchdown from it. Damn it! I do plan on putting out a one-play touchdown video about the gun bunch verticals. You can hit a one-play touchdown against any single defense in the game. So, if you guys still want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. First time I used this play, I mean, you could barely see the setup there, but I did have a one-play touchdown against cover one here if it wasn't for an inaccurate pass. Oh, you that just made me sail this ball right over the receiver's head. <laughs> okay. I tried to go right back to it, and I guess I made a poor read because I thought I could split those safeties. You know what? You thought wrong. We throw an interception there. On the next play, though, I'm getting the ball right back. Surprise, mother on a nasty user lurk. He probably didn't see me. I bet y'all didn't see me dropping under that either. The next offense I'm going to show you guys is out of the single back wing pair. This has been one of my favorite for a very long time. The halfback stretch is probably one of the best run plays in the game. As far as the audibles go, you just want to make sure that you swap out the dive for the halfback inside zone. That's a much better run play. This is going to be your inside run while the stretch is going to be your outside run. It's really easy. All you really have to do is once you come to the line, I mean, you can see there's a three tight end set. Typically, these three tight end sets will pull the defensive alignment in the direction of the three tight end set. There's very few plays that do this and this plays one of them you can see I just have to flip the ball with the right stick in the left direction and I can typically go the other way for a very big run if my opponent starts shifting which my opponent here does right away I basically just run it as is you can see he's shifting away from the three tight ends the three tight ends give me a very huge blocking advantage and on the next play we get another big run as you just can't get through all those tight ends so this really becomes the game a real cat and mouse game of which direction is the ball gonna go you can see my opponent here is shifting constantly trying to figure it out and get an advantage a wise guy huh but wherever he's going to go, I'm going to run the exact opposite way. Wise guy, eh? How do you like that? On this next play, it looks like he might be spreading his defense. He's trying to take those outside lanes. That's why you have to have that halfback inside zone because eventually that's going to come in handy. You can just run the ball right up the middle. There, I was just trying to get a first down. So, of course, I'm going to do that. There's also some really good pass plays out of this. Once your opponent really starts run committing, which is what my opponent here is going to do, you're just going to put the RB route here on a drag. And you can see my opponent's all over that play action. Where you go? He just leaves the middle of the field wide open for the tight end. So, going back to that run play one more time, here he makes that last second shift to the outside. You can see he's very spread. So, we got to go up the middle again. We're going to go the halfback inside zone. I try to put on a little spin move, but the spin move really doesn't work very well. And then on third and goal, I mean, he comes out in the goal line defense, and I guess I didn't block enough guys. And I end up getting sacked. So we have to take the field goal. On the defensive side, like I said, my opponent, you would think on a guy using Aaron Rodgers that he'd be passing the ball a lot more, but this dude ran the ball down my throat with uh, with Aaron Jones. I mean, he was just pounding the rock the entire game for the most part on this series. I mean, he does you know, do some play actions kind of like I did, although apparently when I get pressure, it doesn't have any effect on Aaron Rodgers. I come out my best run defenses, and they have no effect. As you can see, he's still breaking off huge runs outside. And then even when I shift in the direction of where I expect the run to go, I mean, the cutback lane there was just huge. He just takes it right down the field. I mean, he just gets a very easy rushing touchdown.
Another offense that I use quite a bit is the Empty Y Saint, but I already put out a video about this particular play, the Saints Fork, and also another very good uh, passing play. But I'll leave a link in the description. If you guys didn't check that out, I'm not going to go over that too much today because I already did a video on that. I just wanted to start pushing the ball down the field a little bit. I mean, there's only 42 seconds left on the clock. My favorite offense for this would definitely be the tight offset TE, though, if I'm going to go with a new offense that I haven't already shown. And the play is the PA shot seams. This is a very explosive play. The setup is very easy. I put out a breakdown of this particular play last year as well. Uh, and I do plan on putting out a full breakdown of this. So once again, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section which one of these offenses you'd like to see me go in more detail on. This is the setup here, though. And on the first play, I mean, the, the only thing that's really open is the check down, uh, which, you know, cover four quarters is one of the best defenses in the game when it comes to pass defense. Typically, this would have beat anything except for cover four quarters, and that's what he's running right now is cover four quarters. So we're going to take that check down again. Luckily, on the next play, though, he switches out of that to what it looks like a cover three. So I make my cover three adjustment. I just put this guy in a comeback route. And you're going to see how this Y route here gets open straight up the cover three seam over the top of the cornerback. And to be honest with you, I either didn't get a good enough pass, didn't time it correctly, or maybe I didn't have a fast enough receiver, but that's usually a touchdown. Oh, you almost had it. Which is fine. I hit him with the bench switch. He's all over that, but for whatever reason, he just couldn't get it done. That was a close one. And we punch it in. So we take the lead going into half, with the exception of the fact that it's Aaron Rodgers, and we gave him 19 seconds. So on the first play there, just a little bit behind on a route that probably would have been an interception. We do get a few stops here and there, a few plays where we make him throw the ball away and stuff like that, like right here. But this should have been an interception. I could have swore that I put it to play ball in the air defense, but I guess, you know, EA doesn't want you to win sometimes. We're going to see a lot of questionable stuff in this game on the next play, just a little bit ahead of it. And you can see he gets enough with that fall forward animation to basically get him into field goal range. I don't think Mason Crosby at this point in his career has that type of leg, but props to my opponent for hitting it. Then he gets ball in second half, and once again, he is still gashing me. I feel like I'm playing more pass-heavy defenses because of the fact that it's Aaron Rodgers. On the next play, we get some more mad BS as I trip over a receiver. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I was in perfect position. That probably would have been another interception. On the next play, the Mad BS continues. That's clearly a safe catch animation that he gets knocked out of. And I don't know if the defense thought he was going down and just gave up, but he just gets up and just runs for an easy touchdown. What the fuck? That was nonsense. The next offensive series I'm going to use is probably my favorite and the reason that I was going to make this video in the first place, and that's the Gun Stack Y Flex. As far as my audible plays, I always have the Drive H Wheel, the Inside Zone. I typically like to swap out these last two plays with the Y Sail and the Halfback slip screen. As far as the reads go, I really want to run the ball more times than anything when it comes to this formation. Because of the way that these stacked receivers are, they typically have the corners and DBs very far to the one side. A lot of times linebackers will be out there and you'll see you'll have a lot of open run space over the middle. So anytime I see that, I'm pretty much going to take it. He tries to pinch the defensive line, but it's not really going to matter because this is a very good blocking inside zone. The corner strike though is a very hard to stop play. All I have to do is streak the Y route and this B route here will get outside of just about every defense in the game. I I probably would have had a touchdown there if it wasn't for the fact that it triggered like a, a jumping animation that took me out of bounds. Then on the offensive side again, once again, like I said, the inside zone is really where it's at. Anytime I can take this play, I'm going to take it. And it's pretty much always going to be there because you can see the way this defensive formation is spread because of the offensive formation. We pretty much just have some huge running lanes right up the gut. And we're probably averaging like 10, 12, 15 yards of carry from this as we get down to the one yard line. And then we punch it in with the QB sneak. So tied up again. And then on the defensive side again, of course, my opponent is just pounding the rock on me as I really am not having a lot of success stopping that. We don't really seem to be getting any pressure either because Aaron Rodgers gets the ball out so quick. So on third down, I can't believe I didn't hard flat there. Then the insane Madden BS continues is on the next play. I'm just trying to set up my defense and I guess I hit down the right stick. Rizey hiked the ball and it did a cut stick animation, basically leaving my user useless for the entire play. Now it's getting to the point where he's at where I really have to worry about him trying to run the clock out and kick a field goal and end the game. So I really am kicking up my run defense more than anything. It's actually better if he were to score. On the next play, he barely dots it up right over my defender. Clock's ticking. I mean, he really doesn't have a lot of real estate to run the clock out on me, but there's still that opportunity. On the next play, the Madden BS continues one more time as my safety swats the ball away. It was to the point where I had to go and check to make sure that it was still on play ball in the air defense and sure enough it was so I don't know why they're constantly going for swats when I could have just chose swat ball if that was what I wanted to do. Back on the offensive side we're going right back to that stack wide flex. He really didn't seem to have any way of stopping it on the last series and we're going to go right back to it as we're still having a lot of success running that inside zone. We got to kick it up a little bit quicker here though because we're not getting down the field quick enough. We only have two timeouts and about a minute left so we go with that corner strike play one more time and sure enough he bites on that corner strike with the safety leaving my receiver wide open down the field and we're going to take advantage of that. Marcus Hollywood Brown, nobody's catching him. 
We're giving the ball back with about a minute left, but at the end of the day, it's still Aaron Rodgers. On the next play, once again, still not going for that interception. We're knocking that ball down. Thanks for adding this to the coaching adjustments, EA. We do switch up our hook zone drops a little bit. We drop back to about 15, which on the next play, I think plays a huge role. As you can see, everything's locked up pretty good. Got it! And we get an interception. <laughs> Finally! Effectively ending the game if we can get a first down, which my opponent is not going to let me do on the ground. And to be honest with you, I'm in field goal range, so I'm cool with just basically running it three times and kicking that field goal and taking a seven-point lead. <laughs> He's got to push the ball down the field at some point on the next play. We're swatting that ball again. What is the point of this exactly? With eight seconds left, he's got to put this ball up deep, and he's throwing it into double coverage, and for some reason, the safety has no interest in catching that ball. So, last place, two seconds left, Hail Mary scenario. We've seen Aaron Rodgers do this before. Throws it up in the air, says a prayer, and Janet! Or does he have it in himself again? How about new? Absolutely not, as we come up with a perfect timing user pick, which I'm sure the computer would have swatted down if I wasn't there. So that's the game. If you guys want to see more gameplay videos like this, do me a favor. First of all, be a subscriber. Secondly, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I'll try to have more tip videos popping up for you guys as I'm talking right now. So if you guys want to check that out, they'll definitely help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.